Okay guys, welcome back to NQIS Steve. A little bit of a shaky video here because I'm just using the phone. Just showing you what I've thrown together from this angle. Okay. You just can all guess what that is now. That's going to be a make-it-yourself copy with a little few better extras of a Turnergy thrust stand. So I've got an Adreno here. The Adreno is just sitting on a few little breakout wings so you can use it terminal screwdriver and put the cables in. On sitting on top of that is a two line 32 character LCD that we're getting the information through and all connected up together here through a good old 240 volt terminal strip or low volt terminal strip for high current is a XT60 and hanging off the XT60 is going straight across the positive and negative of the XT60 is a Arduino voltage sensor. There she is there. There we go. The Arduino voltage sensor and that is going across straight across ground and positive taking a little loop out of the incoming battery feed and in serial you put across it the Arduino current sensor so I'll let you stop and have a look at that number it's the ACS712 okay so that is just in series with the incoming voltage from the battery and that is running with a loop off the ground straight to a 30 amp let's have a look around here bring it around here straight to a good old cheap 30 amp ESC okay so what you need with one of these load cells, if you've never used one of these load cells, you need a breakout board. So here is the breakout board that I'm using. They are called a HX771, is it? Or HX711, just to correct myself. So that's what that is there, and that just takes the very small signal from the load cell through and into the Adreno. And I am running it into A1 and A2. Maybe I can get over the top there. There we have where I've connected the load cell. Comes off the HX711 breakout board and it just goes the information the two signals go into I'm um, putting them into A0 and A1 a lot of the sketches have them written across A2 and 3 but you can just change that in the sketch and of course it just needs a little bit of voltage so there it is there Okay, so the idea of putting it all in a Arduino like this is so when we are able to map all the values of voltage and current as well as thrust in grams, we should be able to not only print it all out on here and you access it via the little buttons, that's on the, sh on the uh, LCD and be able to have a small menu that you go through and have the voltage come up, have the, have the um, amperage come up, have the thrust value come up and store 
those peaks. All of that can be just driven with a PWM signal straight out of there, straight into the ESC. So you could take it out of one of the analog outs, make it a PWM signal out and drive the motor ESC up and down all from the one unit but the beauty of it is is that via a USB cable we can send it up and over to a PC and that will be, enable us to have some fancy graphics and those fancy graphics can be whatever you choose them to be pie charts they can be signal waves they can be all sorts of different things all right guys so there's just a a little bit of a different project that's running on the side if you like this sort of thing please subscribe give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you happen to like it and I'll see you on the next one okay okay so I just thought I'd show you that there if I push against it I'm getting negative values if I pull against it, I'm getting positive values. So there they are in the, the grams. That's just a simple scale sketch. I'll just put that in the description.